Tip off, and BC gets the ball quickly. Romain is blocked. Shot blocked by number 20, Byron Stark, off the midcourt line, into the lane, takes about a five-foot shot. No good kick. Comanche looking for someone. He'll get it Starks, 20-footer, three points. Byron Starks on that one, so it'll be an inbound play. Loop underneath to Comanche, puts up a 10-footer, good. Uh, moves it underneath to Ringal, bad pass though, it's stolen. And here comes 22 with it, Hendon. Hendon gets it back to 22 points for Byron Starks. Byron Starks. And the ball here flies. comes number 20 with it. Byron Starks moving to the far corner. Three-point attempt by Felton Evans, good. The trap has to get rid of it, and it's stolen by Comanche. Comanche underneath that Starks, or rather 22 gets those two points. Marcus Hendon, and BC wants a timeout. Uh, number 22, Grigsby. Or make that uh, Hendon, is that 32 at the line? That's uh, Grigsby. That's Grigsby, number 32 at the line. And Eleanor Grigsby. Shooting a one and one. <laughs> well, we had Stephen King the other night, so we have all kind of uh, celebrities in these yeah. games. As Grigsby makes the first win and makes it a two-point lead for Grambling with uh, just under four minutes remaining in the first half. Second one is up and in. Grigsby two for two from the line. His first two points of the evening. Ready to check into the game, Chad Gage for the VC Eagles. Shots up and in by number 44, Frederick Comanche. His sixth point of the night. To go in the third quarter. 39-37. Grambling up by two. Hendon driving to the far wing. You know, to have a skip pass over here in, and now pass inside down on the board. There's Starks on the box. Two points. 25th of the night for Byron Starks. Starks playing underneath now. Ball stolen, stolen by Starks. He slams it and this time grabs it briefly. Inbounding the ball will be Felton Evans. Felton Evans finds number 20 underneath. Two points for Byron Starks. And Starks did a good job of getting open underneath that time. Not up, no. Tip in by Gomez, no. Rebounded by the big man's green. Back down court, here come the kittens. It's Hendon. Hendon's got it, and he'll slow things up a little bit and wait for Felton Evans to get to the front court. Throw it to him. Eight-point lead for the Kittens now. Shot by 20. Byron Sparks, two points. Give him 31 on the night. He'll kick it back out to Evans, to Hendon. Baseline jumper, yes, as it goes Hendon. all around the rim and finally goes in. Four points on the night for Marcus Hendon. Nonetheless, it is Grambling's ball no matter what we think on the sidelines. And there's uh, Sparks, 18-footer, two points. Byron Starks ties it up. Go. Felt uh, make that Byron Starks three-point attempt. Yes. Can't leave that. Try to grab the ball and uh, go for an overtime. If Starks makes these, they may have to take a timeout. He, he misses, misses it. it. Gomez has the rebound. Three seconds left. He puts up a shot from half court. It's no good off the backboard. We're going to overtime in the Class A State Finals. The score, Grambling 63, Vermillion Catholic 63. We'll be right back for the overtime in 60 seconds. Back out to Grigsby on the baseline to Evans at the uh, long three-point shot. is good. Where did that one come from? Felton Evans, three points. And the Eagles now trail by two. Yes. Dave, a little earlier you called it crunch time, and this is, uh, I guess, super crunch time. Well, we've uh, had double crunch tonight. Byron Starks is at the free throw line now, and uh, it's a two-point lead for the Kittens. Starks trying to make it three with 24 seconds remaining in our overtime period. Puts it up and in. Starks came through in that pressure situation. This foul shot, perhaps even more important than the first one, however, to make it a four-point lead and almost force Vermillion Catholic to have two possessions to tie the game uh, with the uh, exception of a rare foul on a three-point shot. Starks makes the second one as well. Good half, good game. Going to the free throw line is number 32, Marco Grigsby, two for two so far on the night from the line. I have uh, 37 points for Gomez, or 27 points rather for Gomez. Check that a little later. Added that up pretty quickly. Grigsby out. Romaine has the ball. VC must hurry down for it with 12 seconds left. Romaine a long, long three-pointer. Good timeout. Vermillion Catholic, and we'll keep it right here. If VC can get the turnover, they've got a shot at winning it. And everything we thought it would be. I tell you, the VC Screaming Eagles and the Grambling Kittens were so evenly matched, they've gone to overtime. Grambling has a one-point lead now, seven seconds. Inbounding the ball will be number 44, Comanche, and he, then he gets it to, to a kitten who is fouled by Gage. 
And the kid will be Byron Sparks at the line again. And we've been exciting. Again, we expect the coach expect, uh, expect to speak with Coach Russell Menard one way or the other after tonight's game. First shot by Sparks in there. So Byron Sparks has made one of the two. With just a two-point lead, perhaps... 69-67, uh, Grambling leads it by two. Now Starks with one more foul shot. Almost better if he makes this one. Then the clock will not start until the ball is inbounded. And that's what will happen because Starks did make it. Ball inbounded. There's Romaine. Four seconds. He can't get even close to half-court line with two seconds. Puts up a desperation shot, and it's no good. 